Hello everyone, here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can add a video slider in your Shopify store. So on my screen, you can see that I have a slider. So there are multiple videos I have already added and these are auto playing. So you can also click on these arrows and you can see that these are also scrolling. And if you will see the mobile view of this, so you can see that how this is looking right here. So in the same way, you can implement the same feature into your store. So I will show you step by step that how you can implement all these steps. Actually, this is the custom section which you can add into your Shopify store as well. So I have also implemented a lot of other features. So for example, you can see here we have a uh, pricing table. We have an image slider. We have testimonial sliders. We have featured collection slider and we have collections slider. So all these sliders I will be uh, displaying uh, I will be showing you in the coming videos, but for now I am going to implement this uh, video slider. So let me show you how you can do that. So firstly, I will delete all these things. So I have already added here video slider in the customization part. So let me delete this and then I'm going to save the changes. And if I'm going back to the code, so let me delete that from there also. So here we have slider. So for say example, I have this one, which is video slider, I'm going to delete this one also. So you need to start from here. So basically, if I'm going uh, to the home page and going to refresh this page, so let me scroll it down to the bottom. So here you can see that we have no more video slider here. So we are going to implement in uh, step by step. So the first thing is that you should go back to the dashboard of the store. And here you can see that I have installed down theme. If you have any other theme, then still this feature will work. So for say example, yeah, here you can see that we have three dots. You need to click on that and then duplicate this theme. So once you're duplicating it, then uh, later on, if you want, you can roll it back to its original version because if you are making any mistake or something, so you have the original backup. All right. So once you have uh, done all these things, then you should again click on these three dots, click on edit code. And here we have some folders and files. So basically we are going to create a custom section. So you need to click on sections click on add a new section and here you need to write video slider video dash slider and then click on done so inside of it you will found, find that we have some code so you need to select the complete code and then delete it and then after you need to paste the code which i have already attached in the uh, description so basically you should go to the uh, description and click on the link so you should download the code or maybe copy and paste that code so i have the code right here which is this one so i will be uh, adding the link below in the description so you will find that uh, in the video so let me copy this complete uh, code and then going to paste it right here and then click on save so once the changes are saved, then you can actually go back to the customization part. So basically uh, you should go back here, for example, on the dashboard, click on customize. And then after you will see that we have multiple sections. So once you are clicking on customization, so you will find that uh, here on the left side, you will see we have an option of add section. You need to click on that and then you should search here video. Once you are uh, searching video then you will see that we have videos slider all right so here we go now we are going to add blocks here so you should click on add block and here we have custom uh, carousel video so you should add this again i am adding one more so you should add one more so you have actually the option of a lot of videos to add here but uh, i will recommend that you should add less videos so that uh, the loading time should be uh, lesser all right and once you are adding all these blocks click on each block for example carousel video and here you need to paste the link of the video so basically i have already uploaded all those videos in the uh, content so you should go back to the dashboard click on content click on files and here you will see that we have mm, all those videos uploaded here and if you want to specifically only uh, search uh, the videos so you should click on this search option and here we have uh, filter type you need to select videos and all those videos which you already have uploaded you can you can find it here otherwise you can click on upload files and you can actually upload any uh, file uh, here from uh, your computer and right now i have few videos like this so let me copy the link from here go back to the customize and here you need to paste that uh, link 
all right and then after go back again let me copy this one and let's go to carousel video here let me paste that link yeah you can see that videos are loading slowly and then we have another video for say example this one so let me add all those videos links So here we go. Now you can see that I have added all those videos which were required. I mean to say that uh, right now I have added around five videos. So let me save the changes and let's see the preview right here. So once you are refreshing the page and you will have to scroll. So once you are scrolling at the bottom, you will find out that all those videos are displaying like this. So sometimes you will see that uh, some videos are not uh, uh, actually having the same size so you can select the setting free uh, from here like video slider click on it and on the right hand side you will see that we have adopt media design adopt you can make it portrait and let me save the changes and then you can actually refresh it back and now you can see that all those videos have equal height and width all right one more thing is that there are multiple settings I have already added here. You can add uh, the section heading like video slider right here. You can also make them uh, make this uh, heading left, right uh, or maybe center. And then after we have section heading size. So you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger and you can make it uh, medium size. Another thing is that if you want, you can make it uh, full width also. So full width means the complete uh, size will be appearing like this. And then after we have the section background color so you can actually change the background color right here so here you can see so this is how it looks and then after we have multiple things like adding the uh, padding in the top bottom and you can also enable auto slide right now uh, auto slide is selected so after uh, six seconds automatically the slider will slide and then we have uh, arrow shape you can see that we have uh, circular arrows if you want to make it uh, square so you can also make it like this and you can also change the background color of this uh, these arrows so basically this arrow is right now uh, in the black color but if you want you can make it a red color or something else so you can see here like this and then after we have number of visible slides so for desktop i have added four slides and for uh, mobile view i have added one so you can increase and decrease as many slides you want to show uh, and then after we have uh, images shape so i have already given the option to upload image also instead of video so you can add that and then after media design which i already mentioned like we can make it square portrait and adopt right now we have uh, portrait and if you want you can also add a media shadow so that will actually create a kind of shadow uh, around but right now I think that uh, I don't need it. So let me save the changes and uh, uh, yeah one more thing I wanted to mention here is that uh, here I have added auto slide speed which is 6000 milliseconds. So that means 6 seconds if you want to increase for example you want uh, 9 seconds so you can write here only 9. So that means after 9000 milliseconds that means 9 seconds it will slide but uh, the standard is six uh, milliseconds six seconds actually so let me refresh this page again and here we go now you can see that this is auto sliding and all the videos are auto playing and if you will click here it will also slide and it has also the option of uh, auto play auto slide and loop so let me refresh it back again and now you can see that on mobile view it is also looking more beautiful than before all right so that's how you can actually implement this same feature into your store. So I hope that uh, you liked the video and if you are facing any issues related to this, so you can directly message me. Uh, I have already added the contact details below in the description. And uh, if you have any new feature to develop or you have something to do, then definitely you can uh, message me. I will definitely help you out in uh, solving all those uh, issues. And if you have a new store to create or maybe new section to create into your store, then still you can contact me. I will help you out in uh, solving all those issues. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Also like this video. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I have also created a WhatsApp group, and you can also join uh, YouTube Perks, where I am actually uploading some uh, premium content for my uh, premium users. So you can join that also. Thank you so much once again. See you in the next video.